Chinese President Xi Jinping is holding the Belt and Road Initiative Forum where he has met with Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe and he has pledged to improve ties with the island nation that was recently devastated by a financial crisis, largely brought on by China's aggressive debt trap strategies over the Hamban Tota port. So these, of course, are the big uh, updates that we are tracking for you. China is uh, pledging to boost its uh, relations with Sri Lanka. And, of course, it is pledging further support for the Lankans. Colonel J.S. Sodhi, foreign affairs expert, is joining us uh, on the broadcast. Colonel Sodhi, uh, uh, what do you make of, uh, these, of uh, this meeting between uh, Xi Jinping and uh, Ranil Vikram Singh? channel. Uh, it, this meeting between Xi Jinping and Ranul Vikramasinghe yet again shows that China has got deep interest in Sri Lanka because its overall aim is to encircle India by the sea route through the string of pearls, uh, the string of pearls that we've been hearing for decades. With Wadar Port of Pakistan totally under China's control, with Hakan Tota uh, of Sri Lanka under China's control, and on 20th March this year, they have taken control of Cox Star Port of Bangladesh. So uh, to encircle India by the sea route, Sri Lanka is a very important player in China's nefarious designs. And this closeness is once again signifying that China's interest in Sri Lanka increasing their military presence is going to increase. And this Indian Ocean region is soon going to become an area where there will be intense tension and turbulence. Absolutely. Uh, well... Uh, yes, certainly. But, but, you know, the fact, of course, is, Colonel Sodhi, that uh, the original crisis in Sri Lanka, many people blame on China's debt trap policies. Well, definitely, Uday, uh, there are 195 nations in the world out of which China has given debt to 166 nations. Out of these 166 countries, 40 are in deep financial crisis because of China, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan are amongst them. So this debt uh, trap crisis, which China has been very successfully managing towards many countries in the world, shows that China uses business as a as a, as a front facade to eventually gain military control of that country for its nefarious interest. Uh, uh, last year also we saw this immense financial crisis which Sri Lanka went to and China did not come forward with a single dollar of aid. Rather, it sucked Sri Lanka more into its financial web. The same is happening now. China has agreed to rewrite some of uh, Sri Lanka's loans. They have agreed to give them more loans. The final interest of China is to use Sri Lanka as a military base. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.